A very real factor in electric powertrain, electric vehicle situations, and some other things like industrial electric drives is the presence of offset orders, which are in parallel with or fan out from a particular frequency, like the running frequency of the inverter, uh, pulse width modulation created artifacts uh, that obviously are orders and order related, but do not align. In a large industrial electric drive, a very interesting thing occurs that the orders modulate the magnetization noise. So this is a big drive running at 50 hertz European system, and we have some orders, and uh, the orders modulate the 100 hertz magnetization noise and produce orders offset and parallel to the real orders 100 hertz away. So let's have a look. This is accelerometer data. This is a long file. So we can get the data cursor here, Shift D, and notice that the data cursor uh, does not intersect this very strong order because it does not have the origin 0 hertz and 0 RPM when the motor is not running, like the real order cursor does. Any real orders of a rotating device have the origin 0 RPM, 0 hertz. So this uh, we can guess because we know it's a 50 hertz drive, 100 hertz magnetization uh, noise. We can say, all right, let's assume this is offset 100 hertz. What do we do? We hit the F2 key after waking up the computer in the data cursor mode. Click once, hit F2, put a check mark in offset, and enter a number. If you're wrong, you can zero in on it. So we go 100. And then we either hit enter or we simply click outside. Now we have the offset 100 hertz, 68th order, whereas this one was the straight true RPM 68th order. We have a downhill order here, which cannot exist uh, as an actual order, but it can with a 100 hertz offset because it starts at 100 hertz and zero RPM and it decreases in frequency because it is a negative fifth order. You can have negative orders when you have a non-zero offset. So what can we do about filtering? Let me go back to our project. We have the Mark Analyzer. I'm going to ask for, by the way, the playback filters at this point, because you might like to filter. Oops, that was the playback spot, my bad. Uh, here are the playback filters. So we are going to keep the pin down. We see filters that are in hertz, constant frequency. We could switch them to orders. For example, if I uh, put order 60 on one of these, let's switch it to order, and then enter order number 60, 60, and hit enter. We now have no RPM axis, but we have a rectangular marker, and we find that we have the true RPM cursor for the 60th order. And again, it doesn't intersect. What can we do? In the playback filters, we have frequency, the ability to go between frequency and order, different ways of defining the bandwidth, orders, quality, uh, critical band, etc. But we do not have the capability directly to set an offset. However, the playback filters can run an offset. How do we do it? So we're going to go over here and have already uh, some filters that we set up in the playback, uh, I'm sorry, the filter pool of the Artemis Suite project. Here is one which is, if we look at the properties, bring the properties out, keep the pin down, uh, 68th order tracking so that it will follow the tachometer, offset 100 hertz. So this will track and attenuate out the 100 hertz offset 68th order. Similarly, we have one here for the negative fifth order, tracking 100 hertz offset. You can enter the offset. You can also enter offsets in order calculation and you can generate synthetic order signals with offsets in Artemis Suite. So we have this here. We could calculate through that, but that of course limits our options in terms of playing with the filter settings while we're listening with playback filters. So I'm going to leave the playback filters open and I'm going to hide the properties. So we have a little bit more real estate here and go back to my mark analyzer and drag it so that we can see it and the uh, playback filters, I mean the calculated filters that we could calculate but aren't going to. We're using these as available filters to drag into the mark analyzer, which can run them. So we see here that I had set an order filter. I'm simply going to put that back to being a Hertz filter as it was before. There are two ways you can do this. You can either copy paste. So go here and do a control C and then click to tell the computer that we're in the mark analyzer in which case we have the common field in the upper part in the playback filters tool window, which means these filters will work with anything you play, whether it's in the source pool of a project or different mark analyzers, or it has the lower field in the playback filters tool window, which is only for this mark analyzer. 
So I'm going to click in this lower field and control V, paste those two filters. I can now turn them both active uh, by holding shift, for example, and now by doing that, I have linked them. So they both turn on. We see very little difference in the graph because uh, the graph has to be calculated in order to show this effect. The filter is going to work, but we do not have an intermediate step of saving uh, the result and showing it to you in the filter. So let's listen to this. I'm going to play, and again, use the playback cursor to drag us up in this long file to near where the, the fun begins, so to speak. And we can track out both of them, or only one, or the other. All right, let's show you the other way of doing this. I'm going to select these two and hit the delete key to remove them. Now I'm going to select both of these and drag them. While you're dragging, we see that we're dragging. And because we're not active in the mark analyzer, it only has one field, which is a common field in the playback filters. So they're going to go in this area. But if we click in the mark analyzer, then we can grab these two if we want them to be pertaining to this mark analyzer and drag them out of there into here. Now notice that if we get a cursor, a playback cursor, it is indeed offset 100 hertz and lines up as it should. And this other one is offset uh, 100 hertz on the negative fifth order, which I need to get off of that label in order to show you that it is indeed working. So there we have the ability uh, to get filters that have offsets in them, preset, that you store in a project in the filter pool and then drag or copy-paste into the playback filters and can use them in the normal way.